Welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Taurus in your chart. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is down below in the description box. Okay, Taurus. Let's see. No. Taurus. Yeah, I feel that you are starting something new. Um, it could be a new um, friendship, a new connection, a new job, a new a hobby. Um, whatever this is, I feel that is something new is very exciting. Maybe it's also that a lot of you are considering something, starting something new, and it feels that now is the right time to do so. Okay. Is breaking the routine, Taurus. Breaking the routine. Getting out there. Okay, so for Taurus, please. Yeah, you see, it's like something new. We can see here with the Page of Swords. It's like, also like, um, aha, this is what I want to do. Or, aha, I like this. Mm, why maybe I should try this okay now it could also be that is something regarding like wow oh, this is interesting um, regarding cooking maybe you would you're interested in like um, cooking um, you know things that you haven't tried before uh, different cuisines from different countries mm. Again, also, it could be that you recently have discovered a new talent, Taurus, or again, a new, like, it's a new interest, huh? Okay, Taurus. So this is all about a month of discovering something new about you. Okay. Are we ready? Now I'm also getting for a couple of you that you are like into like redecorating your home or adding things, um, removing. Um, also could be um, um, your office, like re redecorating your office or whatever. Okay, so on the bottom of the deck we have the Emperor. Okay, oh, very masculine energy. It could be that you are embodying that energy of a masculine, um, of, of, of mas embodying uh, your masculine, tapping into your masculine energy. Hello. Okay, for others of you, there, there is a, a man here, obviously, or it could be a woman with a masculine energy, but I'm really getting like, okay, a man is a man and a woman is a woman, and this is a man. Okay, this is a man. So, could be a teacher. This could be a teacher, a boss, a manager. Mm. Mm. Now, it could be Taurus that this is a man, an emperor, okay? So I don't get uh, an emperor that you have been interested in. I feel this emperor has to say something to you. This is how it feels, that this emperor wants to say something to you. Uh, first card for you is the Seven of Cups. The Four of Pentacles, this is holding back. It could mean that this Emperor was holding back, coming towards you or talking to you or, you know, we'll see. We have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. Uh-huh, maybe you have a uh, fire, a lot of fire in your chart. We have Victory with the Six of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Two of Wands, <coughs> the 
five of cups. Doris, clearly I am seeing someone that has been missing you here. Yes, and temperance. Okay. That could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius that has been missing you. Or you are missing someone. It could be. But there is this four of pentacles and five of cups energy that is telling me that um, um, there hasn't been communication. Um, no one has been initiating. There has been a, a pause. I don't know what to do. This is also what I'm sharing. I do not know what, what to do. Should I send the message? Should I pick up the phone to share my thoughts, share my feelings? But this person, whoever this person is, is not doing it. Is keeping a, is it holding back, Doris? This Queen of Wands is also manifesting. Um, and she is manifesting success and victory. Um, I don't feel that this Queen of Wands is holding back as a, you know, as a form of manipulation. I don't feel that. But maybe a couple of them are holding back uh, as a form of, like, they're using this as a tactic to, to yeah. But it's for a few, few, few people. But it, it, it yes. Sagittarius energy also strongly here. I mean, there is, there is a loss. There has been a, a loss. Um, but whatever this, whatever you have lost, Taurus, if you have lost something, it will only be replaced, okay? So again, we have temperance. What needs to go will go to make room and space for what is it's meant to come. I have been saying this for like two months or so. Yes. So, Taurus, whatever has been removed from your life, see it as a blessing. This is what I want to say. It's a blessing in disguise. Okay, let's start clarifying. Um, the Five of Cups. Focusing your energy from the problem back to abundant, um, infinite possibilities. Regaining your optimism, Taurus. Let's see. Oof. Ah, uh, five of pentacles, five of cups. Someone is missing you. Again, I repeat, it could be that you are missing someone. There is a loss here of a king of wands. Someone is not. I feel that this is the emperor. This is the emperor, Taurus. This is the emperor. This is the king of wands. The king of wands is the king of action. Um, again, it could be that this person has been waiting for you to take action towards them. But you're not, obviously, here with the Four of Pentacles. King and the Queen of Wands. King and the Queen of Wands. So... This King of Wands is missing you. Wants to speak to you. Wants to explain things. This King of Wands is not happy that... You are not in communication, Taurus.
with the night of cups i feel that this person is going to take some kind of action towards you taurus go find the king of wands please seriously now okay i'll take them three oh we have the three of pentacles the four of swords and the moon It feels like you're going to find out about something, Taurus, that you have no idea. You had no idea that this person was going through something. I feel that this person was going through something. Could be that they were also experiencing a loss in their life. Or they were going through a major transformation. Again, you know, because there is the Four of Swords energy here. I have, uh, the Four of Swords is healing is also um, a pause. I I'm also getting that you have been through um, through healing, Taurus. Because I'm hearing I've seen that I've done that. It could also okay. I'm getting also this. That it could be that you met you you met someone or you were dealing with someone. It's like I, I've seen this, I know this, I'm not gonna engage, uh, I'm not interested. This is what I'm hearing, so because we have this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is very confident, like she knows what she wants. She's not going to like you know, give her energy to like things that don't serve her in any kind of way so it's more about this king of wands that needed healing is that it feels that you have already went through that you have went through this state stage in your life and it was like an awakening to this person i mean this is this is like a soulmate connection you know It feels like you have learned your lesson and now you're teaching this person a lesson. Could be the same person or someone else, Doris. And the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This person is trying to find their strength to connect with you, to contact you. I'm not saying that you're going to be with this person, Doris. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, okay? Because maybe you will choose not to or you have already made that choice but again this person does not want the two of you to um be in that energy of you know especially if things did not end in 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 a peaceful like way okay so let's see what is your spiritual message taurus Spiritual message for Taurus, please. Thank you. We have wish. When we stand at the edge of the wishing well, we throw coins into the well with the hope that something will change in our life. Instead of wishing, have the courage to dive into the wishing well. Delve into your depths and you will find the richness of your soul. As you are immersed in your splendor, all is transformed. Taurus, if this reading does not resonate, and also watch your moon rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.